Guess what me and Andrew found? Where have you been, young lady? You're late. Huh? I asked you where you've been. Well, I was trying to tell you, me and Andrew. The fact is, you're late. I know I'm late. That's why I'm trying. I don't want to. Oh, This is a public service announcement. Please do not accept any candy or go to Lauren Armstrong's house this Halloween. He is a diaper sniper who masturbates to small children on Little House on the Prairie. Get the fuck away from me, motherfucker. Chris Hansen are going to box, and then when you're really tired, you're going to say, oh, hold on for five seconds, I have to take a shit, and then we'll just bring the new Lauren out, and then he'll beat up um, Chris Hansen and win, right? Like, that'll be the plan. So, what color trunks are you going to wear, and then what color are Chris Hansen's trunks? Moon gold, and Chris Hansen's is pink. Hot pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With a bra. He's in a, he's in a, he's in a, he's in a pink tutu. <laughs> and I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get tired of, I yes, wouldn't get tired of fighting Chris Hansen. I have a pink bra on mean. and I bought it. You know why? Why? Because it's the same color pink as the little girly tank top that you wear. <laughs> Baby, my, my tank top is not pink. It's I know. red. It's just really faded. Yeah, it's, it's pink really now. Faded. Well, okay, it's so really guess what? <laughs> I have five pairs of perfectly white underwear. They're not really brown. They're just a little stained. <laughs> ah, you're funny. Yeah, see? Doesn't you're work the same ass. way. Smart ass. Anyway, I love your pink shirt. You should wear that with your um, blue and gold trunks, and then Chris Hansen can wear his hot pink trunks, and then when he beats your ass, he's going to pull him down and fart in your face and then pull him back up. And all you'll be able to see is his ball and nalga, which is butt cheek in Spanish, when you look up from the floor. And then you're going to get up and beat him up, but you're going to, like, go against the rules and use dirty fighting, and then you're going to be in all the papers. I would love to do that. Can we really do that? Why would, why would I use dirty fighting? One hit because his hands would be down anyway. Really? You think you'd be able to hit him? Yeah. I mean, not to be rude, but yeah. I think he has you more I can beat Chris than you up? do, baby. He won? I said not to be rude, but I think he has a further reach than yours. Is that what it's called? I don't know anything about uh, boxing. He has a reach, but he's slow, too. He has a longer reach. Yeah. And yeah, but he, he's slow, and he'd have to be coordinated, have to be coordinated enough to, to hit me. That's true. He has to, have to be fast and... You know, be faster than I am. And I, I so know who do you think? Happening. Who do you think will be faster? Like oh, when he I throws will. his power hit, and what are you going to do? Are you going to be able to have the reflexes to know which way to move and how far to that way you have to move, and still be able to keep your eyes on him and keep your balance for when he <laughs> runs, or right after you recover from that? When he throws his power punch, yeah. I'm gonna duck down. I'm gonna duck down, grab his arm, and throw his arm around so he keeps spinning around until he falls down. Okay, well that's wrestling, baby. <laughs> I know you want to. Well, no. Okay, fine. I grab his arm. I keep spinning him around. Then I'll knock him out. Knock him in the head. Knock him out. And he'll fall to the ground. 
Uh, his titties and belly are smaller, too, so he'll probably be a little bit too fast for you to do that. He'll probably wind up getting his little boxing glove claw and pinch your little nipples like a lobster. Oh, that'd be funny. Yeah, that's yeah, uh, not something I'm concerned with. Mm, I'm not going to ass so fast. It'd be un- unbelievable. Do you? He's a big like, Okay, like... Honestly, I'm not going to I'm not going to like lie or anything to you. I think it would be a great match. I don't think you would knock him out really fast because I that think you would I think you guys would be able to get a few good hits in and maybe in round 3 it would all be over because you're obviously the stronger one but he has a way longer reach and you are like uh, uh, put at a little bit of a disadvantage because of your current weight and age fat, and an alcoholic, but he has what I like to refer to as coke bloat. When sometimes somebody wakes up and their face is swollen, it could be like from crying or whatever, or sometimes, you know, your face is naturally a little swollen right when you wake up. But if it lasts like an hour or four, like you might have the coke bloat, you know, because sometimes it just does that to your face, you know, the dehydration and everything that has to happen with your body and everything. Anyway, you'll have to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know the fight wouldn't last very long, baby. He's too fat and slow. Well, what is that? And he's older than I am. But you're slow, like too. Okay, like, Something I see like you that, move. And, okay, you know what you move like? Have you ever seen somebody try to rem- try to control a robot, like a bipedal robot? You move slow. That move, to spin him around and around by pushing his arms. Oh, Bugs Bunny! Like Zanji from Street Fighter. There you go. I don't, don't know what that is, but... Okay, wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's get on a different subject. No, I want to talk about you fighting Chris Hansen. Okay, like uh, I think you should do it. It wouldn't be much of a fight, baby. He he called death. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, shut up. You know, like when you see somebody control no a robot with a remote control and they move like all mechanically, and they like yeah, like they put well, like. That's how you move. It's like you're a Frankenstein robot. I don't know, but, like, you said you've only been in one real fight ever. Did you lose? No. Baby, I, I'm, I'm not slow. I, you've never really had a chance to see me move very well, so. I'm not slow, though. I think you're slow. Probably in more than one way. Mm, Yeah. Making love to you so that way you can enjoy it longer. Ew. You're going to be huffing and puffing on me and all of your um, tar saliva is going to dribble into my face. And, like, okay, 